Chapter 12. Cow House the Movie. Well, no time at all seems to have passed since the end of the last chapter, and yet it's already tomorrow night right now. That would make it tonight. <laughs> Welcome to our movie premiere. Everyone is coming. In fact, they should be here already because the movie is due to start in 10 minutes. And the only ones here are Terry, Jill, me and you. But where is everybody else? Terry, you did send out all the invitations, didn't you? I say. Yes, said Terry. I gave them all to Bill the Postman to post. And all my animals know about it, says Jill. They've been really looking forward to it. So where are they? I say. Jill shrugs. I don't know, she says. Oh, look, here comes someone now, says Terry, pointing. We see a group of animals chattering and chirping, approaching from the edge of the forest. Okay, I say, everybody just act cool. There's probably going to be a riot when they recognise us. Yeah, says Terry. Lucky we got these little velvet ropes to protect us. But instead of heading towards our tree... The animals walk right past our searchlights, our velvet ropes and red carpet, and head deeper into the forest. That's weird, I say. Yes, says Jill. They were talking about a movie too. Although they weren't saying movie, they were saying movie! I gasp. What? says Terry. It's those spy cows I was trying to tell you about, I say. I think they're still in our movie and our opening night as well. I already told you, Andy, says Jill. I don't just think cows would do that. Well, I just don't think cows would do that. They're not interested in movies, unless the movies are about grass, of course. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Grass, the movie! Winner of five Academy Awards. Perhaps you're right, Jill, I say. Maybe ordinary cows are not interested in most movies. But these are no ordinary cows. These are movie-making spy cows. You don't believe me, do you, Terry? No, I don't, says Terry. And I believe in a lot of pretty unbelievable stuff. Hmm, but not that. Why not, you cowherd? Sorry, guys. Sorry. <laughs> okay, fine, I say. Let's just follow those animals, and maybe you'll believe it when you see it. We set off into the forest. We can hear the sound of an excited crowd in the distance. More and more animals and people appear in front of us, around us, and behind us. We come over a rise and see a vast open area packed with people, animals and cows, especially cows. 
all sitting in front of a super giant movie screen. Look at that, I say. Cowhouse the movie. Now do you believe me? says Terry. The movie's about to start. Hey, says Terry. Those cows look just like us. Yeah, I say. Except they're cows. Shh, says Jill. Those bastards! Hey, says Terry. Just like when my pants were on fire. I oh, know, I say. That's where they got the idea. Shh, says Jill. Hey, says Jill. That's just like what happened to Silky. No, it's not, says Terry. She turned into a, can a catenary. Not another fly. Shh, I say. <laughs> a catenary? Other fly? <laughs> These are utterly unnecessary yokes. <laughs> hey, says Terry. That's just like my ninja snails. I know, I say. Those cows have stolen all our stories. Shh, says Jill. <laughs> hey, says Terry. That's just like when the shark ate my underpants. Duh, I say, jumping up in front of him. Don't you get it? Sit down, Andy, says Jill. I can't see the movie. What, you mean the movie the cows have ripped off from you? <laughs> Stupid cow. <laughs> cows are funny, says Terry. They're also thieves, I say. They stole that idea from Barky the Barking Dog. Shh, says Jill. I can't hear what Mooey is saying. Well, uh, moo, 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 moo. What else would you expect a cow to be saying, you silly moo? Remember when we had an epic in stellar space battle, Andy? Says Aunt, says Terry. I sure do, I say, and it looks like the cows do too. They are such copycats. I think you mean copy cows, says Jill. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet, says Jill. But it's our story, I say. No, it's not, says Terry. We're best friends, not barn buddies. <laughs> hey, says Terry. That's exactly how our story ends. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hang on. Just one more minute. <laughs> Those thieving cows stole our movie, yells Terry. They copied all our ideas. That's what I've been trying to tell you all along, I say. Yeah, says Terry. I know. Sorry. Uh, sorry I didn't listen to you. But look on the bright side. Everybody seems to have liked the cows' movie, so they're sure like... So they're, so they're sure to like ours, too. 
Well, they would have, I say. But if we release our movie now, everybody would say we cop, we copied our ideas from a bunch of cows. I think that should be a herd of cows, says Jill. That's not important now, I say. Just because you're upset, Jill says. That's no reason not to use the correct term for a group of cows. A bunch of cows. <laughs> but we didn't copy them, says Terry. They copied us. I know that, and you know that, and Jill knows that, I say. But nobody else knows that. We'll just have to make another movie about the cows. About how the cows stole our first movie. But this time we'll make sure the cows don't know anything about the movie we're making. Um, Andy, says Jill, I think. Not now, Jill. We'll have to talk to Mr. Big Shot. But it's important. It will have to wait, I say. We need to get started on our next movie right away. Let's find Mr. Big Shot and get filming. Here he comes now, says Terry. Hey, Mr. Big Shot, I say. We need to talk to you. Hi, gang, he says. Great movie, huh? Well, kind of, I say. But it was our movie. Yeah, says Mr. Big Shot, shrugging. What can I say? The cows got there first. Your movie is ruined. But hey, that show business. But we've got a great idea for another movie, I say. And we'd like you to direct it. We want to get started right now before the cows steal this idea as well. I'm sorry, says Mr. Big Shot. But the cows have already hired me to direct their next movie. It's about some cows who steal a movie idea about a movie about idea stealing cows. It's going to be even bigger, better, and creamier than Cow House the movie. In fact, <laughs> we're off to Hollywood right now. These cows are going to be big stars. Deja vu, whispers Terry. Deja vu, you mean, I say. Well, what do you expect? You just did blab the idea in front of them, didn't you? Moo dumbasses. <laughs> Cowie wood. Oh, please. Okay. So we get into the last chapter next time. Until then. Thanks, Moo, for watching.